mean, I've been making music since I was 10. You know, I, I, I didn't even finish high school. I just went, I just was putting records out. Uh, you know, I put my first piece of music out um, when I was 17. So it's kind of been there for me for years and years and years. I, I, I don't know what I would be or what type of person I would be if I hadn't had that. Uh, maybe I would just be a writer. Maybe I would be a painter. I don't know. I like to think that I would always be trying to use art. Everyone is asked to lose freedom at some point, right? Every generation. And there are a lot of people who don't even uh, enjoy the basic freedoms that we are afraid to lose. Um, it's something that I like to keep in mind. Um, it's a luxury. Uh, but it's a, a luxury that is ours and it's a right and it's something that we are born with, you know? And I think a lot of people are having their eyes opened right now because of the state of the, of, of the globe. Um, a lot of people are having to confront sort of some scary ideas. Uh, but the reality of it is, is that it's been there right under the surface the whole time. This is a fragile thing. You know, uh, freedom of, of humanity is not is is the exception to the rule, you know, um, but it's one that I'd like to make the rule. Yeah, yeah, I think that if you're if you're um, a writer and you've gotten the chance to do it for, for years at a time, I think that you have to evolve. I think that you're, you're, the way that you write, the way that you approach ideas has to change, you know. So yeah, I'm not interested in doing the same thing over and over again as a writer. Um, and we are affected by the things that go on around us, for sure. And I think um, if you're tuned in to, you know, the world like you kind of are supposed to be, I think, if you're a writer, how could you not be affected, you know?